Hey guys, today we are watching 100 Most Powerful Militaries of All Time by Kotaro. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be on the 100 countries that have won the most battles recorded on Wikipedia. My guess for top one and two is France and England. Number three, I'm going to guess USA because we have been fighting in literally every single war since like our creation, essentially. Or well, we've been involved in every single war since at least the 1900s. Um, let's see, who's going to be number four? I'm curious if they include Prussia alongside Germany or if Germany and Prussia are going to be separated. Uh, and then I'm curious if the HRE is going to be attributed to Austria or if the HRE is also going to be molded into German victories. That'll be interesting to see. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and watch this video. Huh. Huh. Would not have guessed Texas. I mean, yeah, they got independent. <clears throat> and yeah, they did fight and win some battles. Didn't think they'd win enough to be in the top 100 of literally all time. <laughs> Hojo clan, huh? Hmm. Catalonia, yeah. Hussites. Papal states, yeah, the Pope. Pope did some things. Lucia Volhynia. Estonia. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, no, it's, I think I think a lot of these battles for Estonia I think might be during the communist revolution in Russia and then uh during some war the Soviets when the Soviets I think tried to invade this, the Baltic region and Poland in like 1920 or something Syracuse never heard of that Moldova hmm. Chad oh what a Chad Isis is 88 okay so they're separating the white Russians that's interesting so they're separating Württemberg, which would have been part of the HRE. North Korea's victories, yeah. I wonder if Colombia's victories here are from Grand Colombia, from... Uh... Oh, I'm forgetting his name. I'm forgetting his name. He was on my tier list for my generals, my greatest generals tier list. And I put him at like D. <laughs> I forget his name. Oh, Albania, Scatterbeg. Sikh Empire, okay, Milan, yeah. Philippines, yeah. God, so, the amount of countries, though, that are going to be on this list that don't exist anymore. Sparta. Sicily. I wonder how many Cossacks. Like, the number of countries that are going to be here that just haven't existed for even a couple hundred years. The Goths? Those dudes haven't existed since the fall of Rome. Crazy! Ireland? Okay, so they are including Gaelic Ireland, so is that... Roman times Ireland as well? Separating Normandy from England. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I don't know if I would have done that, though. I think I would have lumped Normandy in with England because the Normans are English. Or, well, the Normans would become the English. So I guess there are some victories that the Normans did have before they became the English. Yeah. S. Bakada clan. Belgium. Venice. Wales. Yeah that hasn't existed for so long bring back Wales Aragon another country that hasn't existed for a really really long time the Timurids hell yeah Chile Syria Syrian Arab Republic okay so that's just modern Syria huh. Athens dang they haven't existed as a separate entity 
in century in well, over a millennia maybe even two millennia and they are still in the top 50 of all time that's just crazy like imagine how much wars we have had in the last 200 years or so so therefore the amount of battles that have happened in those wars and Athens a small city-state small Greek city-state that hasn't existed for probably close to two millennia or something if not more than two millennia is still in the top 50 that's crazy Saxony, yeah, it's Afghanistan, yeah, especially, yeah, Emirate of Afghanistan and Islamic. So that's modern Afghanistan and then I guess Afghanistan throughout its whole history, except for when it was ruled by the Persians. Kingdom of Iraq, Republic of Iraq. Okay, so that's modern Iraq and then the rest of Iraq history. Carthage. Even more crazy than Athens, because they were decimated by the Romans, but they still won enough battles to be considered 44. Bavaria, yeah. Crusader states, okay, so they're just Jerusalem, Tripoli, Antioch, and Edessa. Okay. Okay, Serbia's up there. Vietnam. Macedon, or Macedon, however you want to pronounce it, I've heard both. Chechia. King of Bohemia, Czechoslovakia, and Czech Republic. Okay. I mean, yeah. Israel. Okay, so they're doing modern Israel, and uh, last time Israel was an independent state, so also like 3,000 years ago or something like that. Did you Hungary? Okay, so Hungary is not HRE. Mexico. What a 60. Scotland. Scotland. Nice. Bulgaria's up there. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, I guess. They did have a pretty massive empire at one point. Egypt. Hold up. Egypt's only number 30? Dude, I would, I would have guessed Egypt probably would have been top 10. Because, you know, of their history. Their, the ancient Egypt is included in this. And they've... And they're only number 30? Korea is above them? That I would not have... Denmark is above Egypt. I would not have guessed that. Canada is above Egypt. I definitely would not have guessed that. What? Hellenic Republics? What do you, what do they mean by Hel is that is that modern day Greece? And then the French royalists. The, they those were like some rebels or something. They're just up there in 25 because they fought so much. God dang. Mongolia, yeah. India India is only 23rd. With the Mauryan Gupta and Mughal Empire only number 93. I mean only number 23. Dude, my mind's getting blown. The Achaemenids are only 22. Another one I would have put at top 10. What the fuck? Portugal, you know what? Yeah, I can I can see that number 21. Byzantines? Yeah. I say I say 20. Rashidun, Umayyad, and Abbasid. Yeah, 19 I think feels right. Netherlands. Confet. Really? There were that many battles fought during the Civil War? That's like, are they counting like even tiny, tiny skirmishes? I feel like, I feel like the issue we have here though with this is, uh, uh, information left behind from these wars, you know? The Civil War is probably really well documented, especially in the United States. So yeah, any time there was conflict between the opposing sides was probably considered a battle. But to say the Islamic Caliphates, the Rashidun, Umayyad, and Abbasids, small border conflicts may not have even gotten mentioned in their history books and therefore have been lost to history, and those aren't counted. 
So I feel like we have to take that into effect now that I'm seeing the Confederacy sum here at number 17 of all time. Despite only being around for like five, four years and still losing in the end, so I feel like I feel like there's there's a, there's going to be slight. This could be a, an incorrect list, and it's no fault to anyone's, be, just because of how history is recorded uh, over time and how minor conflicts kind of get lost or can be lost. Italy, they are not counting Rome alongside Italy. That is interesting. Prussia, okay, so they're not counting Germany. Huh, huh. I feel like Prussia's gotta be counted alongside Germany though, because, because the Prussians are what formed the modern state of Germany in 1870. Sweden. Sweden, I probably would have guessed maybe would be 15th or something. Japan. Japan, I'm not surprised by. Okay, so Austria is getting the Austria-Hungarian Empire, but they are not... Oh, wait, this is, this, this is where it gets confusing, though. The Habsburg Monarchy. The Habsburgs also ruled Spain at one point. And the Habsburgs were also in control of the HRE for a significant amount of time. So are you is Wikipedia like including those battles? This is this is the questions that I am wondering. And something that I think is very important to this list that I think someone probably not me because there's no way I'd be able to do it justice to get truly accurate numbers. But I wonder, like, is, is is that Habsburg monarchy, including HRE victories, under the Habsburg control? Turkey? No, yeah, I'm not surprised by that. They should be in top 10. China? China, I would have guessed top 5, just because of their history. Jie Shang, Zhu, Qin, Han, Jin, Sui, Tang, Song, Wan, Ming, Qing, China. Okay, so they're just counting the dynasties that won and took over China, or took over the Mandate of Heaven, it looks like. Rome, not surprised whatsoever. I actually probably would have guessed top five. Definitely would not have guessed Poland is above Rome. Spain. So yeah, are some of Spain's victories counted with the Austrians? The HRE should not be in Germany, but if we're counting the HRE, then we have to count Prussia's victories here. So Germany has like a hundred plus more, hundred twenty something more victories to them. So that puts them at uh, 540. Let us see if Germany, based on my my thoughts on what should be counted as the state of Germany's victories, if that would push him up to the top four, or if number four won so many victories, it's in, in it's inconsequential. Germany should be up above Russia based on my beliefs. They would not beat the USA though. Okay, so Germany, Germany and Russia, yeah. They could switch spots, but I can also see an argument for why Russia should be above Germany. United Kingdom, okay. And France. Let me just say though, the French and the UK, they're boosting each other they have fought each other the most I am willing to take a guess here maybe even a bet that half of these battles won are from them fighting each other alone just just France and UK fighting each other half of those battles won are from those wars that's what I'm guessing but that is going to be the end of the video here um I am not surprised by this top four at all. How many countries did I say I would have guessed top five? <laughs> I feel like I said, oh no, I was expecting this nation to be top five of all time. What I am surprised by is the number of countries, ancient countries, that aren't higher on the list because of just how ancient, like Iran. 
Iran, to me, I feel like probably should be in the top 10 based off of that thing I was talking about earlier in which there would be minor skirmishes or something that maybe meant nothing to I to the Achaemenids or something at the time. And so they didn't write those down. They didn't put those down in the history books or even catalog them anywhere. But the United States, United Kingdom, and France, these are all three very modern countries, especially the United States. The United Kingdom, the Kingdom of England as we know of it, only existed post year 1000, I'm guessing, is the, United, the Kingdom of England that they are using for this. The Frankish Kingdom goes back older to, I'm guessing, Charlemagne. I'm guessing they are using Charlemagne's France. Or, well, Charlemagne's Francia. So, though those being more modern countries, as well as also being European, as that does play a factor into it in terms of what gets cataloged and what's get, what gets written down. Uh, there, there are certainly, um, there are probably battles that Europeans are more willing to take notice of and write down in the history books than perhaps Asian countries or even ancient American empires are willing to catalog. Heck, we didn't even see the Aztecs or the Mayans or the Incas in this top 100. I feel like they probably actually should be in the top 100. I think they probably, especially the Aztecs, I think the Aztecs won enough battles to be in the top 100. So I feel like, yeah, there's some misreporting of numbers that has occurred but it is obviously not the video maker's fault. It is not Wikipedia's fault. They are doing their best to provide the best information possible. But yeah, just my thoughts on, I guess, how history is remembered is kind of a way you can pose this video as. You can kind of make an argument for how what kind of history is remembered. Uh, what gets remembered? What is an argument can be made as to where a more where history is more centralized or something um but yeah that is gonna do it for today i hope you guys enjoyed remember to leave a suggestion down below as to what you'd like to see me react to next thank you for watching if you enjoyed remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more thank you <laughs>